Hi and welcome back. Here I'm in HiSys. I will go to the safety analysis uh, environment. This is where we have um, our BCVs. And now let's say I have this BCV and I have different scenarios. Uh, all of them are complete. And now we need to study the impact of, of this BCV on my flare system. Okay. So just to show you what we have in this scenario, let's say scenario 101, this is overfilling and we have flow rate here, let me do it in SI. So this is the flow rate uh, that we have here and this is the composition that we have. So now let's see how we can import this automatically to my um, Aspen flare net. Um, where I can study the impact of this on the flare uh, system that I have. So you can open uh, the flare model if you have it. But now I will just proceed with a new file just to show you uh, the methodology. Here uh, I will just proceed with, without any components. <clears throat> Uh, we will import this from um, ISIS. So let's start with this PSV. Uh, here I will give it the same name uh, as ISIS. So it's um, zero, 0, 1. Okay. And I will say, okay. So um, before we proceed, if we go here in the conditions, we will see the default values. And under the composition, there is nothing here. So now what you need to go is home and under home we will import all uh, sources. You can find the first option here. So we will browse for um, our file and upload the file. What you will see he, he is trying to connect here to Hises. He will get all the BCVs that are there in Hises and he will do uh, the mapping automatically if the same name here, uh, if we have the same name. As you can see in, in, in my Flare, uh, Flare net, I have identified this name so he was able to do the mapping uh, automatically. And I just need to select which scenarios, uh, which scenario uh, I want to choose. Once I choose the scenario, he will go get all the data so let's say done for the time being let's say no here you will see that um, my base tv now has all the details that are there and in, in ISIS, okay and also the composition and from here we can continue with building our um, flare system model hopefully this was useful and thank you